shall peril, shall soar, shall life, shall death, shall nakedness, shall persecution. See, all those things are mixed up into what death would be, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So when Paul was floating in the ocean because the shipwreck, death would be trying to speak condemnation to his heart. Mm -hmm. You don't. You lack life, buddy. <laughs> You're dying. You're you need a ship. You're floating in the yeah, ocean. Right. Right. You feel those things nibbling at you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, you're about to be minus some 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 skin. Yeah. You know. And so you know what can restore Paul's heart in that moment is he could be like Stephen, and he could behold the Son of Man seated at the right hand. What does that mean? He could behold. A human body seated at the right hand that had conquered death in a human body. And he could see that whatever death was trying to manifest in his life, he sees it's been conquered in the body of Jesus. And he sees that that life that dwells in Jesus' body, that's conquered death in Jesus' body, is speaking to him a word about death being conquered in his body. And so now he could say, I see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of God. And that sets me free from the death that's trying to come and bring condemnation to my heart. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's why Stephen didn't care when those guys picked up the stones. What, what was coming at Stephen when they picked up the stones? Death. 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 How come Stephen didn't try to save his life? He knew he couldn't lose his life. Exactly. And notice what he says. He doesn't just first say, Father, forgive them. That's not the first thing that comes out of his mouth. The first thing that comes out of his mouth, he sees them. Listen, he's a Jewish guy. When you cast a guy outside of the camp, you know what's coming. Okay? <laughs> not only that, to be stoned like that outside of the camp was like the scarlet letter. That's like the biggest mark of shame that you could have. Mm. And so they, he knows what's coming. They all have the stones. They're, they're angry. They're about to kill this guy. And what does he say? I see the Son of Man, yes. seated at the right hand of God. You see, Jesus was intercessing in his heart, condemning the word of death that all those guys who had stones was trying to speak to his heart. Mm -hmm. All those guys with stones was trying to bring a word of condemnation to his heart. You're going to die. You're about to lose your life. Death is reigning over you. You're not, your life's about to be harmed. They're about to take your life. All those things are coming at him, and behold, he sees that there is a human body seated at the right hand of God. And that body is Jesus. And it has seen death conquered in that body. And that was telling him that whatever death was now going to try to come to his body was going to be conquered in his body. And so they couldn't take his life. They couldn't harm his life. They couldn't threaten his life. They couldn't, they couldn't do anything to him. Mm -hmm. And from that foundation, he's free. And that's what he's talking about when he says, Behold, I see the Son of Man. I see this death you're bringing to me now. I saw that death in that guy on the cross. And then I see that that guy who had this death you're bringing to me on the cross, I no longer see that death in that guy's body. And yet I see that guy in a body. And I see that guy who has a body, who had my death in his body, and no longer has any death in his body. I see that guy is declaring the life that I possess in this earthen vessel. I possess a spirit, a life in this vessel, and I see the fabric of this life in the Son of Man, seated at the right hand of God. And I see the fabric of the life that I possess in an earthen vessel. I see that when it was in that earthen vessel, and death came to it, it conquered the death. And now I see that that declares my life. And so now he says, who can take my life from me? What can separate me from what God has done to conquer my death because he loves me? And so then he's free. Father, forgive them. And in that moment, you see the fullness of love manifesting out of Stephen towards people who were trying to kill him. Because his heart was stung by life. You see, his heart was stung by the word of an incorruptible life. And then what that did was it brought forth a love in him that couldn't be corrupted, even should the people around him that he wanted to love hated him. 
The love is also incorruptible. So should the people come to hate you when you're trying to love them, when your heart's been stung by the Son of Man seated at the right hand, it will bring forth the love out of your heart that also can't be corrupted by death. <laughs> death can't come to you and keep you from loving the people who want to kill you. You see? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> wow. Oh, you find yourself more concerned with them. You find, they're, they're trying to kill you, and you find yourself thinking, Father, they're dying. Right. Death is killing them. Stephen wasn't busy thinking, Father, they're killing me. No. He was busy thinking, Father, they're in bondage to death, man. Send their death away from them. Mm. Mm. Wow. See, that's the power of an incorruptible life when it comes and stings your heart. And I actually find, you know, we, and me more so than anybody, I'm probably busy with more details than anybody. Um, because for the very reason Dawn brought up, the fear of death, I just go and say that. And some people could be like, well, I'm not afraid to die. And because they're not making the connection in their head right. to all these different things. And so I love mentioning these things. But something I feel like the Holy Spirit has just been ministering to my heart is, Greg, just declare that death has been conquered in a body. And watch what that thing will do in the hearts of people yes. without you necessarily having to get into every detail. Just keep declaring this life and see what might happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And not underestimate the power of this life being declared. And the Holy Spirit. Like Dawn, she didn't need me to come explain to her the fear of death. Mm -hmm. She had God, and then God just revealed it to her. Mm -hmm. 